Hi again, this is Mary Flower. Now I found a couple of um, like artsy books at the uh, thrift store the other day about uh, a couple weeks ago and I think I have a little glare here. I'll try to get that. I'll move it over. And I thought, you know, I guess I could resell these or use them, but I thought it would be kind of fun to take them apart and make some junk journals out of them because the pictures are very interesting and and uh, just embellish it pretty much with what is inside of the book itself. Um, but... Um, and just cut out things and moved it around. This book was actually like clear over here and I cut it down and, um, or folded it in on some of the pages on this one. Uh, this one was called the artistic mother. And if you can look closely, I added a little set of wings here, a little jewel, a little button here. I'll do this one first. And uh, when you see the flip through, then let me move this down a little bit, see if we can get a little less glare. Um, you can um, see how I used most of the things from the book. I did add a, a little bit of designer paper, but mostly the things from the book. These are really cute. I did these a little butterflies with a little safety pin in the middle. I think they're really cute. Added some washi tape to it and a few other things. Used mostly the book itself and maybe a little bit uh, of designer paper, but pretty much it. And I even used some of the words from the book too but it makes a really fun junk journal. So all of this is actually right from the book itself. Beautiful. I'll move this up. Beautiful illustrations in the book itself, but with a little bit of designer paper to help it um, cover the areas so that you can do some journaling. It sort of made it quite interesting. This was really cute. It was this is right there from the um, the book, and some little tags and papers to put right behind there. And I had to cut some of the words out and replace them, but it still turned out really cute. And there's another butterfly with the a little uh, safety pin on it. Created some pockets in some areas. But I just repurposed the book. I put a little pocket here as well and made it fun. So you can still see her, this artist, her um, creations, but you can also write in this and add pictures or whatever you'd like to do or do some artwork. This one has some tags right here. Some more of those little butterflies with the safety pins in the middle. They're really cute, aren't they? So that's what I did. I covered this with the contact paper. I said I'd never do that, but I did do it on this one. And then I just take these from like the Dollar Tree and get a bunch of them for about a dollar. And they make nice little holders to keep it together. And then this one, I can't even remember the name of the book, 
but I had to move some of the artwork just around a little bit. And I did the same here, created some pockets and put some new papers in. But pretty much tried to use mostly the book. And it was sort of fun to uh, rearrange the book. <laughs> and this book as well was uh, I'm about clear out to here. I think the same height. I think I just um, created the uh, cover a little bit differently. Just I'm not really sure. I may have cut it down a little bit, but this was actually part of the cover but I thought it was a fun way to uh, repurpose uh, th these books here's this part here some more things here Very bright and pretty. And there's that one. And they're just single signatures. I took all of them out and then put them back in by binding them like that. And used the little bands that I get over from the Ola Dollar or the Dollar Tree. And they're about 20 cents a piece when you get them. But there we go, and I'm sorry there was such a glare on that, but um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.